So hey guys, today's a new video, and as you can see, I have a lot to cover. So there's a new event today, and I'm going to be covering that, but keep in mind I'm going to be doing this in two parts, uh, simply because the event is actually split into two parts. Um, so as you can see here, I have the Sage, uh, Sage Teacher and Student card, Combination card, Naruto and Jiraiya. So yeah, I got it, and I'm going to be explaining how I like it, why I don't like it, part of, like, just everything, how to get it and such. So first of all, um, today today they released this card. Um, there it's only going to be released today, um, until they decide to release it again. Um, if you want it, you're basically going to have to recharge six thousand two hundred gold. Keep in mind that it is a triple gold recharge. So I mean, you're instead of only getting six k gold, you're going to get eighteen k gold in total. Now here's the thing. Um, you can only get this card during today. Uh, as I said previously, you need to recharge two hundred six thousand two hundred gold. Um, essentially two hundred dollars, and uh, uh, and that's how you're gonna get the combination card and the skin. So this is the new skin called Father's Love Naruto Zumaki. You probably saw it right now in the very beginning of the video, but the only way that you can get it is through recharging. Now you have to recharge um two hundred twenty gold only during today. Um, if you recharge more than two hundred twenty gold, you're gonna get the card. But unless you recharge all the way up until 6,200 gold, you're only going to get the skin. Uh, you have to recharge 6,200 gold to get the actual combination card. Now, the combination card, for those of you who don't know, is just that, a combination card. Now, this doesn't stop you from using the cards themselves. As you can see here, I have Naruto and Jiraiya right here. I also have Hinata, and I have the Naruto-Hinata combination card now what it does you go to combination and then it allows you to select two ninjas such as here so you select the ninjas for example this combination is going to be Zabuza Momochi and Haku um, so as you can see I selected them both you do combination and they're going to combine and the cards are still there so this is just basically a way to get the some of its parts I suppose but yeah you have the cards there and that's just how they work you don't lose the cards you can upgrade the cards as much as you want but you're fine, don't worry, basically. So, yeah, um, really the power from these cards comes from getting both of the cards that are respectively inside the combination card more powerful. As you can see, my the more powerful my Naruto and Hinata card is, the more powerful my uh, Naruto and Hinata card is, um, the more powerful my, Naruto's, my Naruto and Jiraiya is, the more powerful my Naruto and Jiraiya combination card is so it that's just how that works now going on to talk about this once again this is only for today you can only get it during today if you don't get it today um, you're not going to be able, able to get it until they do decide to release it again um, and yeah so let's look into the card itself because really apart from that all I have to do is talk about the consumption which I should probably talk about before I go into depth about the card so yeah, consumption. Um, you have quite a few rewards. Um, they're actually rather cheap. Uh, the highest reward you can get is actually a forty k reward, which is the multiple shadow clone passive for Naruto and the Rasen Shuriken active skill for Naruto. Um, you need to consume forty k mm -hmm. gold, and you can get get it. Um, now you can get all of Jiraiya's items when you consume all the way up to thirty k gold. Um, you get. All of the items basically and you get basically two Jiraiya cards um, I'm really only gonna be consuming up until the Geta because I have all of the cards but I want the Geta because they're I it's nice to have an extra pair of Geta they're actually rather useful at tier 4 um, as you can see here at tier 4 they give you 77 K Ninjutsu attack and 87 K stamina at level 120 when you equip it to any card now to Jiraiya himself he gets an extra 32 K Ninjutsu defense and 89 K HP um, I could go ahead and explain more on detail like these other items, but first of all, I'm going to explain the combination card. Now, this is what you're more than likely here for, um, honestly. The Naruto Jiraiya combination card. This card is very powerful, actually. Um, so as you can see here, I only have the exclusive items equipped to Jiraiya, those being his uh, headband, oil headband, um, his Fukusaku and Shima, Geta, the lion white hair and the Mount Mai Boko scroll. Uh, same thing for Naruto. I only have his exclusive items equipped to him, which are the Konohana headband, Konaha headband, the red scarf, the hand knitted scarf, the seventh Hokage's cloak, 
uh, first Sokagi's necklace, and finally the amount my Boko scroll. So yeah, just with those items equipped to those cards, uh, you get a combination card of uh, essentially 4.6 million combat. Now, I noticed that it says that you have 2.7 million HP, but it seems to me that that's, that is rather wrong. If you go to upgrade, um, you're going to see that the HP itself is actually 5... Th oh no, my bad. Um, yeah, see, I guess these are the base stats for the actual combination card as far as I can tell. Um, but from what I've seen, the card itself has more than 2 million HP. I could be wrong though. Now, the skill itself is actually rather powerful, but before I get into that, you can only equip uh, these passives to the card. Um, now, the way that this works, if you have the passives equipped to the actual original cards, as you can see, Jiraiya has Earth Release, Swamp of the Underworld, and he has Demonic Illusion, Toad Confrontation Chant. Um, if Jiraiya has these passives equipped, then the Sage, Teacher, and Student can equip them too. Same thing for Naruto. Um, he has a multiple shadow clone and the demon fox cloak. If he can equip them, then the, uh, what do you call it? Then the sage teacher and student card can also, um, it works the same thing for, um, the active skills, whatever active skills that Jiraiya has at the moment, the card can use and whatever active skills that Naruto has at the moment, then the card can also use. Um, and yeah, so right now I have multiple shadow clone, uh, by release unique skill, release 1 to 6 shadow clones. Each clone can increase only in jutsu attack by 35%. Only once increases after equipped. Uh, at level 105, it gives you 96k HP, 44k ninjutsu attack, 34k hit, and 27k. I'm not quite sure what that is for. But the it gives you, after you equip it, it gives you an extra 5,400 HP plus 870 per level. It gives you 6,000 hit plus 270 per level. Uh, ninjutsu attack 6000 plus 370 per level and then that's it really um it's a very good passive um especially if you're looking to deal a lot of ninjutsu damage now the card itself because of the combined stats of naruto and jiraiya has these stats right here um 320k hit 8800k ninjutsu attack 225k taijutsu attack um and yeah, so as I said before, this card deals true damage. And if I didn't say that, sorry, this is the fourth take, I do believe. I messed up multiple times before, but anyways. Um, it deals true damage. What that means, um, it ignores defenses. So just to give you a quick example, we're going to go ahead and then put in uh, somebody who doesn't deal true damage, such as Sasuke. So we're going to go ahead and put in Sasuke, and we're going to go ahead and fight the Atels quickly. So first, um, Sasuke is going to go, and then we're going to go back and switch around the cards, and you're going to see um, the combination card go. So against the Atels, here goes Sasuke. And as you can see, he only deals 6,000 damage and then 10,000 damage, and then finally um, 1.5 million worth of damage. Um, as you saw, the combination card didn't die instantly, but that's because it had such a large amount of HP. Now we're going to put in Jiraiya. And look at how much damage Jiraiya does himself. Um, we're going to go all the way back down over here. And once again, against the A-Tails. Obviously, Jiraiya is going to die. The combination card is going to die. But there you go. 7.8 million worth of damage on a critical. Um, the reason that the card deals so much damage is because, once again, it ignores defenses. Um, it will deal as much damage as it possibly can and just completely and utterly ignore defenses. Now... Uh, what's good about that is because once again true damage ignores defenses um, it ignores the defenses from cards such as um, Kakashi Hatake and Obito Uchiha well more of Kakashi Hatake and I guess Gara Ga Kaki I suppose Hokage huh oh that's why anyways as I was saying let's let this finish <laughs> As I was saying over here, we're going to go over here and go over here. And finally, we look at the... Wait, what was I doing? Anyways, uh, as I was saying about true damage, it's true damage. It's good. So you get a, deep, a buff advantage once you actually release the skill, which is the Ninetales buff. Kind of like what um, Sasuke does with the Tailed Beast buffs. Um, this does the exact same thing. 
The card itself just gives itself a 50% bonus damage after it releases its first unique skill. Now keep in mind it will only do this once. Uh, same thing with the Shadow Clones, it will only do this once. Um, as you can see here, um, it's stealing 280 million, 20, oh no, 28 million. 28 million worth of damage critical by the end of it that's because of the shadow clones um they give even more percentage boost um so yeah it deals a lot of damage now i'm not quite sure whether it's able to um well i know it's able able to overclock i'm not quite sure whether or not it's able to actually um be useful in the ninja world war it's it's definitely useful for damage um there's no doubt about that especially against the tailed beast and such but I'm not quite sure whether it's useful or not up against the, uh, in the Ninja World War. Uh, that needs further testing, but here I'm going to go ahead and test them out against the Tilt Beast. So we're going to go put go ahead and put in the first Okage, my usual. And then we're going to go ahead and put in a purple card, uh, my purple card, uh, Orochimaru with the curse seal and such. So first we're gonna have them do go like this and then first yeah like that and let's put in yeah that should be more or less about it. Hopefully this is able to do this. So once again again once again up against the ATOs. And here we go. Let's see how this works out. So the ATOs, curse seal, and sage arts. So that's nine million worth of damage. And let's see how it does. Oh, and it had a gray curse. You'll keep that in mind too, which is interesting. Well, to me at the very least. Um, now you see this mark right here. That is the Asura mark. Um, now it doesn't do anything, uh, unless you you equip on the um, not the Asura mark, but the um. Damn, what do you call it? The. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot, lot of damage. It's very interesting. Huh. Let's see how it does with the red creakers here right now. Okay, wow, that was an insane amount of damage. It seems like that's going to be... This card is going to be very useful for the Ninja World War. Anyways, as I was saying right before that, I got distracted. What was I saying? I'm sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained right about now. Um, hmm, short attention spend. Uh, for the life of me, I cannot remember what I was saying. Uh, oh, well, I suppose. Yeah, this is why I keep on retaking takes i suppose uh but yeah it looks like the amount of damage that this card can deal is very very high i i think the reason it's stealing such a large amount of damage it's because it's not only does it release the the 50 percent buff uh once it releases it every time it releases its unique skill i think that's why it's stealing such a large amount of damage now normally it wouldn't change anything but because of hashirama going ahead and putting on that 15 percent buff um it moves in front of the uh in front of the uh, nine tails buff which just goes ahead and keeps on increases increasing the damage the nine tails buff keeps on moving all the way towards the end if that makes sense and it keeps on increasing and increasing damage so it looks like this card is very very powerful quite honestly i think that was a 952 million i'm not quite sure somebody may want to um pause that but yeah 952 million it literally one hit ko the eight tails at what i believe was round 14 um, another thing about this combination card, uh, at least when you have it geared up as I do, keep in mind this is not the strongest possible combination card I could possibly make it. Um, I'm limiting myself to only the items that Naruto and Jiraiya have equipped. They're exclusive items and that's it. So as you can see here, uh, only that and that's it really. The combination card itself um, can actually solo the six tails, um, something that not a lot of cards can do from what I've seen. Um... Yeah, I'm sorry. I really can't quite remember what I was talking about right before I stopped speaking. 
I got distracted by the damage. Okay, I remember now. Um, so the Asura Mark doesn't do anything. Um, unless you have it in combination with the... I do believe it's called the... It's not the Asura Mark. Okay, it's gonna die. So, uh, the Asura Mark, it doesn't do anything. Unless you have it in combination with the Indara Mark. Now, the Indara Mark, I think you can get it from the combination card. Um... Sasuke and uh, Itachi, it was a while back. Let me look at the combination card description very quickly. Um, releasing the zombie seal. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like that's part of a, this combination card looks to be part of a set because um, what the Indara mark does. Uh, It doesn't do anything. It just it's just applied. But when it's it's put in with the Indara mark, it's gonna deal a ten percent damage, extra damage I suppose, um, extra ten percent HP damage. So almost like a bleed, I I would guess. But unfortunately, I don't know how that would work because I don't know what card could possibly give the Indara, um, Indara mark. Right about now, this card can only give the Asura mark. I'm not quite sure which other cards would give the Indara mark, um. But yeah, I'm surprised just how powerful this card is. So for those of you who don't know what I was talking about beforehand as to why such a large amount of damage was being dealt, the reason that I think that the card deals so much damage, so watch this. As you can see here, it releases the um, Ninetales. So normally the Ninetales just sticks there, and when it stays in one place, it doesn't give you an extra boost. Um, so when it moves all the way over here, right there, it gives you another boost. Right now, um, Jiraiya should deal a lot more damage than he originally dealt just by himself. Now, because of the uh, Ninetales, uh, the Ninetales buff staying there, um, I believe that it's not reapplied anymore. So it kind of just signals the card to stop increasing damage, which is why it stays there. Now, when you put into consideration the fact that, what do you call it, Nagato? Not Nagato, that Hashirama um, moves that, that buff to the side every single time uh, he releases his unique skill. Just watch here. Um, as you can see here, the this is going to move all the way to the side. But because of it moving all the way to the side, the it just deals that much more damage, as you can see here. So we're going to keep on doing this. Hopefully Hashirama doesn't die. So... As you can see, the Ninetales buff isn't the thing at the very end anymore. It's just something that's there uh, to the side. And it reapplies it, basically. As you can see, it gets reapplied every single time he releases his unique skill. But so long as the buff is to the very side, it doesn't actually give you any increase in ninjutsu attack or damage. It's only when it's put into, like, uh, in It's basically only when it's moved. So it looks like the... Ninetales buff, the 50% uh, ninjutsu attack damage buff is increased, is used every single time that Jiraiya, that the combination card uses its unique skill. As long as you have somebody like Orochimaru or um, Darui or even uh, Hashirama to keep on constantly moving that buff. This is the best way I can explain this. I may be completely wrong, but uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spend a little bit of gold. Um really uh this this like i said um this card is actually very very good its only downside is the fact that it's only damage oriented um it's that's it that's all it's really useful for um i don't know whether it will be able to beat like um indara sasuke and um tobirama those two being the most powerful cards in the game for damage output right about now but it's very powerful because of the Karuma buff, the 50% buff right about now as far as I can tell. It has a very strong chance of doing so. But the bleeds on the uh, the second Hokage and the burn on... um, What do you call it? On uh, Indara Sasuke mm -hmm. could probably outdamage that. So yeah, I'm not quite sure. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and spend some gold. um, And then show you what I do with what I do when I spend gold. So let's see. So my goal is to only get this right here, the Geta Tier 3. Um, honestly, I'm not going to be using the um, anything else really from here. Uh, yeah. Uh, the HH of Tactics, for those of you who don't know, you can get 60, oh, 50, of them, 50 of them and then trade it in for a skin for Jiraiya at the shop. The skin comes with the skill and yeah.
So, hmm. Which should I upgrade now that I think about it? I could do some recast. Um, for those of you who don't know recast, so recast goes like this. You use common recast, you use silver, and you usually get crappy stats. If you use prime recast, you usually get very good stats plus plus something right here. I don't like that, so you can just go ahead and do that again. Um, I've more or less maxed out Jiraiya, right, the combination card Jiraiya right about now because I'm not going to get any really good... Uh, uh, how should I put this? Any really good uh, recasts anymore. Um, so, I mean, you could probably just go ahead and use about 200 or so. Oh, there you go. That's a, that's a nice one. That's all plus. Two or 300 gold. Um, however lucky you're feeling. I'm trying to get something good. But, yeah, it's really luck-based. Uh, but I spent some gold there. And let's see. So, where is it? Here we go. So in general, you're, you're going to want to have a, uh, once you enhance your cards to the max level, uh, not cards, your items to the max level, you're going to want to go ahead up a couple of levels ahead of that. So as you can see here, I'm at a hundred, yeah, at 18 levels ahead of what I'm supposed to be when I enhance them. This is called super enhance. Um, it's a level 122 shutting gun with single tomo and as you can see it actually has 80k ninjutsu attack which is very very good um i used up, used up a little bit of gold there i still need to use up a little more so let's see what else can i enhance uh i feel like that's about it for enhancing yeah don't really see much else I could possibly enhance. Um, I don't exactly need the root square glasses. Don't need that. Uh, nope. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I need to gear out my dry end now that I think about it. With some black rods and such. So he has some bonus stats when I equip stuff to him. Uh, for the combination card to be at its max. So that's going to be fun. But uh, what should I enhance? So Dre, I need something in the earring slots. So I'm going to have to go ahead and basically bring out my max team right about now. And try to get everybody all the way up as high as I can. So you're going to get a chance to see my max team. CP team. Um, obviously that changed because of the combination card, uh, but you're going to see me moving a lot around a lot of stuff. So this may actually be very boring. Now that I think about it, I really should save this towards the end of the video. I'm going to go ahead and answer daily Q&A quickly. And then really, if you want to stick around after daily Q&A, um, you can just watch me mess around with my cards. I might not be talking a lot, so just bear that in mind because um, I'll be more, mm -hmm. concent more concentrated on actually... Uh, Moving everything around so I get the maximum maximum benefits out of it. Uh, you can earn money uh, by views and subscribers if you turn on the ads option. I mean, I'm willing to watch ads so you can earn money by doing this because you're doing a great job making your bits. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, Israel's kind of right. Um Really, it would be nice to get some money from, well, the channel. But the thing is, is I'm a very, very small channel. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm really proud of how far you guys have taken me. Because originally, I thought, okay, I'll peak at, like, 500 subscribers. But I have 854 subscribers. That's that's a fuck ton to me. Um, but in reality, it's a very small channel. And I wouldn't really get anything out of it, I suppose. Which is mostly why I don't put up ads. Um... I mean, it's just that I do have to save money to sometimes uh, say I want to go out with a, out a weekend with a couple of friends. Maybe I want to buy a piece of candy even sometimes. And then you save up money for things like that. Then I also have to consider in rent and such. So I can't always just be frivolously, frivolously spending on this game. The only reason I really spent because I, I freaking love um, Jiraiya and Naruto. They, those guys are one of my favorite um, favorite characters in the anime and the manga. And then the game. So, yeah. But thanks. I, I appreciate it, Benjamin. It 
it, you know, it touches. It's a, uh, it's a ch touching thing that you'd be willing to go through ads to, for me to make a little bit of cash. Thank you. Um, how much is it to go to from VAP eight to VAP nine? Um, it, I mean, in total, yeah, it'd be like one thousand five hundred dollars. Um, because you need to basically recharge another fifty k, um, to get to uh, VIP nine. Uh, hey Luis, should I save my will of fire for to diamond my ascending, uh, or use it on upgrading equipment first? Um, depends really. If you feel like the equipment that you have is satisfactory satisfactory right now, then you should go ahead and get the um, save it for the um, for the cards. Like for example, I have a lot of rare ore right about now. Uh, 25k and I'm really just saving it so I can train up my my not my Jiraiya but my Sakura so I can get the collection for the Konohana Ninja now the reason I'm not opening collections right about now is because I'm kind of scared to be honest um my game freezes sometimes when I open up collections and I uh, don't want it to freeze midway through this video because I've actually gotten rather far into this video and if it freezes I feel like I'm gonna have to restart the video and I really don't want to do that so I'm sorry for being a bit of a coward when it comes to that um, but yeah, um, but if you need a quick boost to CP, then yes, go ahead and work on your equipment. Your equipment will give you a very large amount of CP, but, um, for the long run, then you should save it for your sending, signing. I'm, I'm always iffy on pronunciation. Sorry about that, Spencer. So Itachi, um, can you make a video off a team to use, uh, to get over level 15 in Ninja World War? I want to get a bit more gold. Thank you. Um, there's quite a few teams. Um, honestly, I've already made a good five or six videos on that, but, um, tomorrow I should be able to squeeze that in. The reason I'm not doing that now is because I'm mostly going to be concentrating on maxing out my CP fairly soon. So I don't particularly want to move a lot of crap around because then it'd be more time spending moving crap back around the way it's supposed to be. But, um, off the top of my head, the best free to play team that you could possibly have would be a, uh, a purple card, um, Hashirama, a uh, purple card Hashirama, or a gold um, Darui with their passives, uh, Hobi technique for Hashirama and uh, Cloud Thunderstorm, Thundercloud. I hang on, let me look up the passive quickly. Yeah, Thundercloud Inner Wave for um, Darui as passive. Uh, then you're gonna wanna have uh, Itachi, no, not Itachi. Uh, free to play, free to play. So you're gonna want to have in um, Kakashi and then Obito. Um, the reason you want Kakashi and then Obito is because um, Kakashi and Obito have a skill called Kamui and have another skill called Lightning Cutter Kamui. Now, Kamui, the active skill, what it does, it actually nullifies any attacks towards you. Um, it's a very good skill, but it's a little unreliable because sometimes it doesn't take effect. But the Lightning Cutter Kamui, as long as you can stun the enemy cards, which in the Ninja World War you will always be able to do, um, as, long, as long as you can do that, the the Lightning Cutter Kamui will stun the entire enemy team. And since it, it stuns the entire enemy team, so long as you can set up an, at intervals, basically ma making it so Kakashi and Nobito release the Lightning Cutter Kamui active skill um, every other turn. Um, so back to back, so Kakashi does it one turn. Obito does it the next, and so on and so forth until the battle ends. You can actually stunlock the enemy and team, which means that they won't be able to do anything towards you, such as attack you and possibly kill you. Now, uh, after those two guys, you're going to want to have a uh, purple card, um, Orochimaru. Um, keep in mind for the light lightning cutter strategy, you're going to want to have a... Uh, Kakashi Gold and an Obito Gold. Um, that's a requirement because that's the only way you can actually equip the active skill to to Obito or Kakashi. Um, you're also going to want to have a purple card, um, Orochimaru, uh, with the tier four uh ring, Orochimaru's ring equipped to the purple card Orochimaru, and then after that you can have a Naruto or, or Sasuke card. Um, uh, per, 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 preferably Indara Sasuke. Um, with all of his items because at that point he becomes really really powerful and is able to do a lot of damage i myself am able to get all the way up to stage 77 because of indara sasuke and then after that you're either going to want to have a gold naruto or a gold tobirama uh gold naruto if you truly want to be free to play because gold tobirama would take a very very long time to be to do it if you're free to play so that's the bear gist of it so sorry if it doesn't make that much sense but um i'll i'll cover it more in later detail 
later in detail. There we go. Um, let's see. Good to know you're not getting bored because I enjoy your vids and good luck trying to get that cat position. Yeah, hopefully, Brian. Um, I mean, uh, I'm comfortable where I'm at right now, but um, I hear that you could probably make more cash in that position, and I'm I've been interested in it. I mean, it's not as though it's a promotion; it's merely switching a little bit departments, I suppose, switching a position for another position. That's really. That's really, it's not a promotion or anything. Um, which card is better, Mitsuki or Orochimaru? Orochimaru is better because of his tier 4 ring. I feel as though I've answered these questions for some reason. Huh. Anyways, as I was reading, let's see. Uh, yeah, Mitsuki's good, but he is only really decent at the best because, I mean, he can, he can seal the enemy cards, but Orochimaru is just better overall for damage output. Um, I was wondering what's a good sunlock. It's fairly easy to obtain for Ninja World War. My Ninja World War team is Darui, Mitsuki, Boruto, Haku, Haku combination card, Sarada. It's about 12 million. I get to about 35. I think it could get to 45 if I had constant stuns. I also have Suzu Kakashi, Ryukar, and I, Obito, and Kisame. I like to try, but then I'm meddled, and I have no passive actors for these. So, Suzu Kakashi would be good for the Ninja World War for you at the very least, because it stuns the front row. But, for Suzu Kakashi to truly be useful, it'd probably be best for him to have him gold. Now, the formation that you have here is rather good, but I personally would take out Sarada. She's not particularly good in the Ninja World War. Um, she won't do that much damage. Um... Yeah, switch out Sarada with um, Kakashi, and that will give you a little more stuns. Not a lot, admittedly, but a few more. Um, yeah, because I can't really think of any um, stun lock combinations that would benefit you right about now. Boruto, Boruto Mitsuki, um, those two have a f fairly high uh, stun slash steal rate, but at the same time, they're not 100% reliable. So yeah, Suzu Kakashi is a very reliable front row stunner. So, I mean, you could probably use him. I'm a free-to-play player, and I'm wondering if I should spend my 50k gold on a Sasuke and or event so I can start overclocking to get further in Angel War to accumulate gold faster, or should I just spend on a Naruto Sasuke event? Um, Is there a th um, I'd recommend for you to spend it during a Sasuke or Orochimaru event. Um, actually, for the Sasuke or Orochimaru event, just wait for an Orochimaru event, and you usually only have to spend about fifteen k gold at the max to get all of his items, or at the very least to get the Orochimaru's ring, um, to tier four. Uh, so I mean, you can just you don't have to spend fifty k in only one event, um. If you're going to be looking at a Sasuke event, um, you usually try to save up like 70k. Um, simply because Sasuke is one of those cards that usually cost a lot more in consumption than a lot of other cards. Um, for example, uh, one time his passive was quite literally 70k worth of consumption. So I mean, um, yeah, it's a little hard with your situation, especially since you're free to play. Uh, just... Uh, save up, really. Yeah, you're doing good. Just, I'd recommend spending 15k gold during an Orochimaru event. And then going ahead and spending during a Naruto event would probably be best for you. Um, because while a Sasuke event does offer some stuff, it doesn't particularly offer everything. Um, Sasuke's items, his most powerful items are his Eternal Mangeki or Sharingan. And his, um, his sort of Kusanagi. And those you can usually get for a rather cheap amount. I actually get them free every other event because Sasuke gives the sort of Kusanagi item for free um, and the Eternal Mangeki or Shoningan at the most it's usually 50 40k no not 50 40 30 to 25k worth of consumption to get it to tier 4 um, whereas Naruto's passive it's usually 40 50k worth of gold to get his passive the Shadow Clone passive which would be very useful for a Ninja World War um, but those are my thoughts on it Oh yeah, so yeah, like, 
they said here you could use your some of your gold for Uzumaki clan keys to try to get a purple card Hashirama. I would recommend that because a purple card Hashirama is vital for overclocking unless you want to go um through the Darui route. But the Darui route is a little harder because you have to get a gold Darui and you have to wait for a, a Darui event to get the passive. Whereas the Hashirama, you only need to get a purple card Hashirama and you can get the passive at any time that you want. Is spending money on a Naruto event a good thing? Um, depends really because, uh, if you don't have a gold Naruto, then it's probably a good idea to get his items. But if you have a gold Naruto, I mean, uh, either way, you you get gold and quite a few Will of Fire, if I recall correctly. So I mean, you always win when it comes to recharging. It's sometimes that sometimes, <laughs> sometimes sometimes, it's just that sometimes as uh, only one time uh as i said you get better benefits from other other recharging instances i mean this time right here you only get the combination card um other times you can get a lot of will of fire very cheaply for like a hundred bucks when i think i saw a recharge event where if you recharge 5k you basically had 500 500 nightmare of uchiha or before that would be a good 50k worth of no not 50 a good 20 30k worth of recharging so i mean it just depends on the event um uh right now well i got the combination card that's all i really need i'm not going to be recharging for the rest of the event because i have quite literally everything i need i don't need any more gold i don't need any more items for for naruto or jiraiya so i i'm satisfied but if you don't if you're missing something and you feel like you should then go ahead but just think about it before you do <laughs> For the free-to-play account, should, who should I upgrade first and to what stage? Bronze, silver, gold, or diamond? First, Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, Obito, Kakashi, Hinata, Haku. Um, Kakashi. He's the most useful because of his stun locks, especially if you can get the lightning cutter. Um, Obito is useful for sealing and for lightning cutter stun locks, but Kakashi is very useful in just about every situation. With his um, front row stuns just being natural, um, that you that's very very useful in the dungeons. Um, as long as you can hit, so I mean Kakashi would be best to get him to gold. Now for damage for stuns at the very least for damage your best bet would be Naruto or Sasuke. Um, Naruto if you can get the Shadow Clone passive, Sasuke if you can get the Indara, and the Mangekio Eternal Mangekio and the Kusanagi um items to tier four for Sasuke. Um, Sakura she's great at healing, so that's first. Um, Hinata's good, but she's mostly a CP booster. That's what I usually use for, for use her for. Um, um, Haku, he's decently at stun, but he's not a uh, great stunner. He's not an AOE guaranteed stun like Kakashi is once he gets his lightning cutter. But yeah, so I mean, who should you upgrade then? Go for Naruto. Naruto is always a solid bet, and he's not as tedious as the other ones to grind out. And thank you for the compliments. Well, Mel. Um, let's see. Would you rather sit on a cactus or stick toothpicks under your toenails or kick a wall? Hashtag Luis Kione 2016. Cactus, because I mean, uh, the way that that would work, I mean, it would sting. But it'd be a lot of little stings over a widespread spread area. Whereas kicking toothpicks under your toenails is one very long toothpick. Goes into some very, very delicate tissue. So yeah, I'd rather sit on the cactus than do the sticking toothpicks, toothpicks under my toenails and kicking a wall. Yeah, cactus. Definitely, definitely cactus. Um, hey, Luis, don't worry, man. You don't have to make a video every day. Just make, and that's uh, great already. We just need your opinions on the upcoming events so that we know if we have to spend money or not. Doing a video every day is useless. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, uh, everybody has a different opinion on it, but thank you, Nicola. I appreciate that, man. How much gold do you need to get to get the Naruto Jiraiya combo card? Um, 6,200 gold. You can only get it, get it during today, and you need to recharge gold, not just have the gold. Um, what's the easiest way to manage your stamina um i don't manage it i mean i kind of just 
go randomly. I see I save it and that's it really. Um always yeah, I have no advice for that. Um if I need stamina I usually just buy it. Um with gold that I have. But I mean don't worry about it sometimes. I mean if you see that there's an event that you plan for, say that you want to get all of the tries for a Minato event dungeon, then just save up until you then. Just don't, as stupid as it sounds, don't do anything until then. Just uh, collect your daily stamina rewards, collect your um, your daily gifts, uh, just collect it all. And slowly but surely you're going to notice that, hey, your stamina is like at 12k and you've been you have a lot more than you need, you know? It's just like that. Um, I have an Akatsuki Sasuke and I'm trying to grind up for loot shutting gun. But I keep using stamina for events. Please help. Yeah, just focus on the loot shutting gun. I know it's a little it's a little daunting trying to, you know, do other things. But, yeah. Your device is almost full. I'm going to have to delete some crap. Let's go over here. Let's go to the gallery. Please don't shut down on me. Okay. And uh, it shut down on me. Let's go to um, Samsung. Uh, gears, nope. Hmm. Oh yeah, my files. It's right in my face, and I'm ignoring it. So let's go to um, audit no videos. Edits, and we're going to go ahead and uh, delete, 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 16, okay, let's just delete that, uh, those are the previous videos I was making, uh, the ones with 17 are the videos I'm currently making, the one I'm recording as I speak, and yeah. Uh, so that took care of that. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. But uh, let's see. Let's go back down to something else. And let's check this out. Um, new subscriber. Thanks for the vids, man. Love watching and listening to your knowledge. Thank you, Grilled. Um, is it worth going for all the dry as equips even if I don't have the Ninja World Lord skin? I won't be able to get it anytime soon. Um, Sizer, uh, you don't really have to worry about the dry as skin. I mean, just by consuming you're gonna get like 20 of the uh 20 of the items needed 20 of the each each of paradise at 4k consumption so i mean i'm not quite sure whether they have the new dungeon not new but the dungeon for dry okay yeah they don't um well i mean that's 20 more than you had before so i mean just it, it's probably worth it probably <laughs> yeah um the skill that Jiraiya gets with the skin is good, um, but I mean, his items do a lot of damage too. They give him a lot of bonuses, so he, it's worth it. Um, it's not as powerful as it could be, but he won't be completely weak is what I'm trying to say. Card. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, can you make videos showcasing how shit I'm gonna send you, please? I'm planning on going for one for free. The way I'm going is I should be able to get them bronze in the upcoming events when it gets here and I have an extra for silver. So when his event comes back, I'll get him silver quick and have some extra gold and same thing. I'll get him gold on the third time it comes. Okay, um, yeah, I've done a showcase for him a long time ago, actually. If you just go to, like, playlist for my channel, it, there's a showcase and there's a, a showcase for, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, not dry as new, not dry, um, Diamond Hashirama and Silver Madara Uchiha, so I mean, there you go, so yeah, that's about it, wait, let's see, a new comment, hmm, I think that was the one that I just clicked, oh well, so yeah, that's about it for the Q&A part of the video. So um, really, I'm just going to be spending gold and rearranging my cards right about now for a little bit. So if you want to watch that, go ahead. Um, but uh, don't expect me to talk a lot, I suppose. Okay.
Okay, quickly, let's see. I guess continue a continued. Q&A continued. Hey, Luis, I'm currently stuck on 19-11, and my team is not brown. Sage Kawito, Gold of Naruto, Obito, Shira Tenzin, Mangeki, Roshan, and Sasuke. Hmm. Uh, don't get the Toad Summon Scroll. Uh, you can actually just get the Mount Nai Boko Scroll fairly easily right about here without using your Toad Bunta and spending gold. Um, let me see, where is it? Yeah, the Mount Nai Boko Scroll, you can get it to Tier 3 just for consuming 9k. I know you said you had 5k, but maybe you're not free to play. Um, so, I mean, you could consume, you can recharge a little bit. It's triple gold recharge, so, I mean... You get a lot more gold than you normally do. Um, finish up that Han so that should give you more damage. Um, try to get as much ninjutsu attack as you can on him. Uh, your gold Naruto should be able to deal enough damage. Uh, just once again, equip more damage output on gold Naruto. Um, but you're doing fine. Just work on your ninjutsu attack. Um, every little bit helps, Like such as uh, go to the arena, go to the honor shop. You can buy these uh, Super Knife Necklace, Super Ninjutsu Necklace. They give you 6, 6k Ninjutsu Attack, which I admittedly, it's not a lot, but it's something, you know? Uh, but yeah, hopefully that answered that. And let's go back to this. Let's see. Um, so Kaguya's items are there. So let's get that from Itachi. Lightweight pants. Don't need the black rod. I need that. And let's look all the way over here. Just in, no, I might not need that, but just in case, I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab that too. I'm gonna grab that also. And oh yeah, I forgot my fourth right kage. Fourth right kage is actually very powerful, just with his items only. Um, the fourth right Kage has like 3.8 million worth of CP, 3.7 million worth of CP, which is quite a bit. So let's see, um, I'm going to go ahead and equip Kage's items very quickly. Zetsu's ring. Uh, I think I left the Zetsu, the Hashirama cells on my Indara Sasuke. So I'm going to need to go to Indara Sasuke. Take that off, take that off, take that off. Take that off, and there we go. We have all the stuff. We have this stuff, and we go over here. Um, so the reason I'm equipping the Ten Hands Long Sword is because while it gives Ninjutsu that Genjutsu damage, which is useless to um, to Zetsu, it gives a lot of CP. It gives about 200k worth of CP just for equipping it to any card. So, I mean, it's useful to do that. And Zetsu sells right there. And the Sharingan with the single Tomo should be right there. That's 10 million CP. That's good. And combination card, combination card. And then we have this. And I'm actually going to have to go to my... No, no, no. Okay, I know what I can put on. Uh... So we put that on him. The Black Labyrinth should... No. We put that, the Yatorogatsu, on him, on the Black Labyrinth, on her. Then I also need to put the Suricus no Boko on Hinata, which gives her a little more CP. Black mm -hmm. Rod Madara on both Naruto and Hinata because of the boost. And that should be enough as far as CP goes for these two. Hinata's at 4.1 million, and Naruto's at 4.2 million. Obviously still needing something over here, but I'm going to fix that in a bit. Then Guy's Scarf should go on the Raikage, along with the True Renengan, which should give him a lot of CP. There we go, yeah, because of the stamina and the dodge. And the Mangeki or Sharingan on him too, I suppose, because... Yeah, okay, 4.3 million CP. 
5 million worth of CP, 5.7 million worth of CP. Okay, I think we're maxing this out more or less. And now we need to work on Jiraiya. So we put the Mangekyo Shining Gun Tier 4 on Jiraiya. And the Uchiha armor should be enough. Uh, which, that gives what? That's, let's see. The Shisui's Ninja armor is usually my best item. So that's 5.2. That's 24 right there. The Uchiha armor. And 553. It's definitely better. Watergate, Jonin armor, 38. Just in case, check the other items. Rip Ninja Suit, 38. See, yeah, so the best is the Uchi armor right about now. Kakuzu's ring should work well for that also. So Dry is fully geared up, and he has all of those stats nicely put on him. And now I only need the this for, uh, how much does I give? 4.3. Um, 39, 41, and let's see, 41, so okay, that's better on him, let's see quickly, how much does the Gata, Geta, give, let's see, 41, okay, so, 41, 20, Okay, so the gets is a little bit better by like 10,000 CP. But at the moment, I think I'm going to have to be satisfied with that because... Well, while the Geta gives more CP, um, Naruto does need some hit, so... Oh, hey, it reached 34 million worth of CP. Sweet. So it's good to heal, and we need to go to um, what's-his-face... Maro Chiyo, okay, I unequip that from him, and we need to go to not Jiraiya, not Hinata Hyuga, Sasuke Uchiha. Why does Sasuke have the 6 toe sealed in time? He should not have that in him. Unseal. Mm -hmm. It's been a real long time since I bothered messing with the Tailed Beast. I don't think Shisui should have that sealed in him either. Um, let's see, 38, Kisame. No, 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 and Mitsuki, nope, Jiraiya, nope. I need to find the combination card for Naruto and Sasuke, I, I mean Naruto and Jiraiya. And Sage Teacher and Student, so we have that there. We have the Four Tails here. No, not the Four Tails. Um, seven Tails would give him 36k HP. The Four Tails would give him 60. Yeah, okay, the Four Tails, come on. There we go, one perfect sealed. So it's okay, that's a nice boost. And then we go once again. So that gave that boost to that. And now we need to seal on Jiraiya because... If Dry gets a boost, then the entire combination card gets a boost. So the Seven Tails gives 36k HP, and then the Six Tails gives 48k HP. So we seal that into Jiraiya, hopefully. I mean, I'm getting nervous. Shit, I ran out of seal stones. Mm. I have 25 seal stones. I'm going to give it another go. Hopefully I can get it, but if I can't, oh well. Let's see, so that's 25. Should come up to only a couple of, a uh, couple of K. Okay, it's only like 2K worth of seals, 2K worth of rare ore. Open that up, open that up. Which reminds me, I need to open up those gifts, the Father Day, Father's Day gift. Um, so quickly open that up, let's see what we get. Oh, 500 gold, sweet. Um, some rare, some rare ore, on powerful scrolls, some stamina, some bloodline stones, it's not so bad. And, okay, we have 50. One more try to seal the six tails into, yeah, the six tails into Jiraiya. Hey, there we go. We sealed the six tails into Jiraiya. Sweet. So 
two million worth of CP. Sweet, that's pretty good. And uh, let's see how powerful the Jiraiya card is now. 5.5 million, 10 million on Zetsu, 5.8 million on the Naruto Hinata card, and 4.3 million for my Raikage, 4.4 million on my Naruto, 4.1 million on my Hinata. It's ironic that my Hinata is my weakest card. Um, now that that's over with, I've maxed it out. Now I need to use some a little bit of gold to upgrade these items. Um, let's see, so... It's one, two. One, two. So the reason I'm upgrading to level... Um, basically upgrading them to levels is because... Uh, those two levels make a difference, uh, believe it or not. Um, whether it be by like 2k. And honestly, that consumes a lot of gold very quickly as you can see i'm all the way up to 5k gold and i'm barely only upgrading like what three possibly four items five items now so i mean yeah upgrading them past that limit is quite a lot of um gold very it drains it up very fast is what i'm trying to say so we're at 6,000 and my limit's gonna be 8,000, so I need to watch that carefully. <laughs> Hang on, before I go ahead and before I go ahead and do that, I'm gonna check quickly to see if there's any specific skills I'm interested in buying quickly. Nope, no, each each your tactics. OB technique, how to make a skill, Aikage skin, no Matarazu. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Okay, let's see. Passive skill. Yin chakra, chakra punch, nope. White Bagupan, Tsukiyomi, nope. Stamina, I could use a little bit of stamina. Let's go ahead and open up some of these uh, VAP packages. And it's two, three, four, and we need we need two more. Where the hell are they? There we go. So Let's see, so we open them up, and all oh, powerful scroll bags, all oh, powerful scroll bags, let's open a serious bag, yada yada, refining bags, uh, VAP package, so it's one, that's two, three, four, five, and six, there we go. How much more gold do I have left before I reach 8,000, so it's okay, a, li <coughs> a little bit more, so buy some more stamina. 50, 50, 50, I think I've reached my, I'm supposed to, okay, a little bit more, it's another 50, another 50, well, another 100 at this point, okay, two, two more, so, okay, and that should have gotten me to 8,000 gold, perfect, and, I mean, I don't need anything else now that I look at it. So yeah, it looks like that's about it for this video. I really wish that the Sage Cloak would actually work for Jiraiya. I mean, it makes sense that it would work for Jiraiya because it's... Jiraiya is a Sage. But for whatever reason, they only wanted to work for Naruto. So, whatever, I guess. So yeah, that's about it for this video. 34.2 million worth of combat right about now is, is my max. So yeah... That's about it for this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you don't. I appreciate you watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye. Close that. And yeah. Oh, hey. One last question before we go. I think I already answered that one. I did. So yeah. Bye. Yeah.